I started out by being a journalist, writing for magazines. Uh, what I really wanted to write was fiction. <coughs> but there are very few magazines now that publish fiction. In my day, there were a few more, but there were still not a whole lot. So it was very difficult to get fiction published. And so I turned my attention to writing nonfiction for magazines. And then one day, I, it was this time of year, it was the first week in November, and I went outside, it was morning, I went outside to the back porch, I lived in May, to scrape the children's leftover breakfast into the dog's dish. And I stopped out there, my husband had gone to work, the children had gone to school, and I stopped there at the back porch because the smell in the air reminded me of something. It was a combination of wood smoke from neighbors' wood stoves, the leaves that hadn't yet fallen from the trees, my children's Halloween pumpkins turning rotten on the porch. All of those things, apples on our apple trees, kind of turning brown now. And it brought back a memory. I went inside <clears throat> and I wrote a letter to a friend. This was the early 1970s, back when people still wrote letters. It's sad to say we don't do that anymore, but I wrote a letter to a friend and I told her about this memory that had been brought back to me so strongly. And she replied in the next mail and she said, if you write that as a story, somebody will publish it. And so I did. I wrote it as a story. The first sentence of the story was, it was morning, early, barely light, cold for November. I was nine and the war was over. In the car I sat next to the stranger who was my father. And it was a story about, through my eyes, a child whose father has returned from the war, as mine did from World War II, and is a stranger to me. And I'm a stranger to him. It's a story about reconciliation. I sent it to a magazine. They bought it right away and published it. And a book publisher read it and contacted me and asked if I would consider writing a book for young people. So that's how my first book came to publication. I didn't have to write it and submit it and re have it rejected. The first book was requested by a publisher. And that publisher has published all of my books since then, with a couple of exceptions. And one exception is a publisher, Scholastic, I think, went back to that original story in the magazine and had it illustrated by a fabulous illustrator who wrote to me and asked for a photograph of myself at that age. And so the child in the book is me. But it's now a picture book. The title of it is Crow Call. And it was published by Scholastic a few years ago. It's a beautiful book because of the illustrator, whom I never met, but he got it just right. But that was how my first book came to be published.